What's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2017 Ford King Ranch F-150. So stay tuned over the next few minutes as we check out this truck and I'll also take this truck to a location here at the lot and get y'all some video of the lighting setup on this beauty. So stay tuned. Right, everybody another beautiful day in June 2017 and before I leave after filming a few used vehicles I wanted to take the time to show y'all this gorgeous F-150 King Ranch Wow I'll be doing a, uh, a little bit of an in-depth walk-around review on this truck and show you some of the things I think that are cool about it and uh, most importantly show you the pricing structure at Ravenel Ford on a truck like this and why you're gonna save a lot more money after watching this video. So let's go ahead and get the party started. All right, so here is the front of this beauty right here. Man, it is aggressive looking, is it not? It's a sporty truck, it really is. The Ford logo is massive in the front. As you can see right there, it's got a camera right up under there. So you got that going on. A lot of cool safety features, a lot of cameras. I mean, there's just so much technology that Ford has really put into this vehicle. All right, first thing we're gonna take a look at right now is the remote start because again, it is over 100 degrees on this June day out here in the country in Ravenel. And before I sit my hiney inside that truck, I wanna have it cooled off a little bit. So let's go ahead and get the party started. Well, what you wanna do is you wanna hit the unlock button or hit the uh, remote start button twice. And as you can see, I haven't hit a button at all on this remote, but as you can see, it didn't start, did it? Right, so what I'm gonna show you is what you wanna do is you wanna hit the lock button like that and then hit it twice. Oh, how about that? Now she's cranked up. Pretty cool, all right, let's go ahead and hit the unlock button. And uh, you can already see these lights are looking really good. I mean, all LED going on up here. This is pretty sweet, but before we do that, Let's take a look at our wheels. Goodyear tires, the Wrangler tires. Nice looking tread on them. Again, brand new, beautiful 20 inch chrome wheels. The King Ranch wheel, looking really nice, six lug. A lot of sensors going on, a lot of cameras going on. There's all kinds of stuff going on with the King Ranch. I like this little step over here. I mean, just put your foot right there and you know, get a hold of that toolbox. If you're putting a toolbox on the back of the truck and kind of get what you need to get out to get the job done. Got the FX4 off-road package. She's a beauty. You got backup sensors, backup cameras. Oh my goodness, a lot of stuff on here. Tow package as well. You got two cameras right here. One looking down so you can see when you're backing up to your trailer. The other one's giving you a nice wide angle view. And we'll show you that today on the video. Bed liner looks good. Back window opens and closes. Throw that puppy dog a bone. All right. How do we close this? Do we have to use our hands? Let's see. Maybe we just kind of hit that button with our foot. <laughs> Not too easy to do, is it? Hold on. Let's see here. It doesn't want to close, does it? And it's not easy to close. You got to be pretty tough to do this. There we go. What in the world? Okay, well, let's try it again. All right, I think it's technically closed now. Something I never look at right here. Easy fuel, you don't have to screw it off, get your hands dirty anymore, just stick it in and put your fuel inside of here. Gasoline, there you go, so it's called capless. It's got running boards, you see that? Just wanted to point that out, that's a pretty cool feature. Again, I'm showing you all these cool little features on this truck because when you see the price of the truck, you're gonna say, oh my goodness, that's a lot, right? But it's not really that bad once you get, see what all it has on it, okay? And I won't even be able to cover everything today. Ugh. Woo, it is hot. But the AC has cooled off pretty quickly inside the F-150 King Ranch. Let's turn our air up. 
All right, it's obviously not going to do that while the car is in remote start. So what you want to do next when you get in the car after doing a remote start is you don't have a place to put the key in the ignition. You just want to put your foot on the brake, hit the button right there. Now it's completely alive. Now I can turn my fan speed up. Oh yeah, let's turn it up to seven. Oh, look at the roof. Wow. Is that not a nice view right there for riding around in the Carolinas? It sure is. All right. So for the rest of the video, hang tight. We're gonna stop recording for a second and we're gonna head over back to the uh, shed and pull this big boy in there. I figure, what the heck, you know? Go ahead and keep it on record while we're doing this. Never know what could happen. Well, today I do have a, have a, if you can see this, a Chevy shirt on. How about that? For the Chevy Silverado. But right now we're riding in the Ford. All right, let's back this big old boy up. Oh, it's big. All right, coming down easily. Not bad. So far, so good. Pretty easy to drive. Um, the steering on the truck, again, is easy to spin that steering wheel around. I'm not sure if it's electric steering or just traditional power steering, but it is feeling good. It is nice sitting up higher up off the ground, that's definitely for sure. I'm loving the layout on the dash. I mean, you really feel like you're king of the road while sitting inside the F-150 King Ranch. That's for sure. This is nice. All right, let's move the camera around a little bit. Take it this way. Let's see what it looks like in the old mirror over here while we're riding by. Because, you know, people love, if you're a car salesman, pulling in front of a mirror like that is really nice to do with your customers. Why else do you think they got mirror tint on the windows, folks? Because, well, first off, it keeps the sun glare down a little bit off the wind, off the interior of the showroom. But it's, uh, it's a good thing to be able to uh, let people see themselves driving in the vehicle, okay? And there's a little truck right there. That's a little truck. That's a Nissan Frontier. If I could pick between the two, I think I'd be driving this right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is nice. All right, let's take it on some gravel. And let's take it over here in the shade so we can get things lit up a little bit for you so you can see all these uh, cool interior lights and exterior lights. All right, come on. Let's go around this corner here. This will be the only YouTube channel that you'll see a new King Ranch F-150 being pulled into a shed. Now, right now I'm testing out the turning radius. I don't think it's going to make that one. So let's back her up. There we go. Well, I guess I'm in neutral, aren't I? Park. There we go. Okay, now we're in reverse. Come on, it is a really big truck, guys and girls. I think once you drive it a few times and get kind of comfortable with it, I probably could have whipped it in here a little bit better if I had both hands on the steering wheel. But anyways, all right. All right, take the seat belt off for a minute. Let's get comfy and let's look at some stuff in here. We'll go ahead and relax in the cool interior and look at some of these things. Basically right now, I really, I'm not gonna get in detail about nav and all that crazy stuff. Um, right now, I really just kinda wanna show you the lighting and how things look on the inside. Um, you'll notice at night, those are gonna light up over there. All that's lighting up. Again, you know, Ford does a really good job of, um, of doing lighting stuff inside all their vehicles with illumination and all that cool stuff. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and cut the headlights on. 
me take a look. Yeah, right here. Cut my fog lights on. There we go. All right. So as you can see, your dash there is looking nice. Um, digital dash, LCD screen right there in the middle, nice and big for you. A lot of cool features inside of there. If you need to control that, you'll be controlling it through right on here on the steering wheel. As you can see, these buttons right here will let you kind of switch through and look at things. Click over to the left, to the left, boom, boom, boom. All this cool stuff. Again, it's almost like pretty much a built-in computer settings I mean just all that good stuff right there okay um, this is really nice nice big screen they got some plastic on it right now let's take that off for just a second um, I do want to show you the backup camera real quickly here because that's definitely an important part put it in reverse as you can see there's your cameras not bad um, here's a camera button up here you can click that button and change views there's one view there that wide angle Another view there, pretty sweet. You can see the sides and everything. So this is really nice for doing what you need to do. It even has backup sensors and sensors all around the vehicle so you're making sure that you're not hitting anything. Um, down here, lighting, you can see you got your, those. that looks cool. Don't know how those two USB ports right there light up like that. Pretty sweet. Let's take a look. Let's see if we have any LED lighting on the interior. I'm pretty sure we do. Yes, we do. That's LED there and LED on that side. Again, Ford does a great job on that. There's even uh, right here, where'd it go? That one. In these little holes here, I think there's some little lights in there as well that open or cut on maybe when you uh, put the car or when you open the door. Uh, no LED lighting in here, just regular could be LED I don't think so though it's just that off colored white doesn't indicate LED what do you have for lighting over here on your center console it does this have some lights in it no not that I see it does have mount more power outlets and things like that I like that they got sunglass holders in the car not bad all right anyways let's get out and take a look at the outside of the truck all right, so there's the lighting on the front end of this truck. It's looking good. You got LED headlights. You got those light bars that kind of roll around the headlight housing there that looks sweet. Fog lights down in the bottom bumper. I mean, it definitely does stand out a whole lot. Let's take a look here. What's kind of neat about this is it's kind of that pinkish red color, which just makes it stand out a little bit more. I like that. Headlights looking good. This is probably a high beam, I'm assuming, and we'll test that in just a second. And I'm curious where the blinkers are at. Let's test that real quick and see where the blinkers are at. Okay, so there's where the blinkers are, right there. I just also cut the high beams on, and when you do that, the bottom one lights up. So that's your high beam right down there, looking good. Down uh, underneath though, when you cut your high beams on, so you know, the fog lights do cut off. So I guess Ford just doesn't want you to have too many light bulbs on all at the same time, right? All right, so there's that, there's the front. Let's take a look and see where else we have some lighting on this truck. Well, you got a little bit going on right here. And also, see that's blinking around the outside, but it looks like there's some lights on the inside there. Not sure how to get those to cut on, but there definitely is some little light bulbs on the center of that. Let's take a look at the back. Tail lights look good. Look at up top there, that's nice. I mean, that's great right there. I mean, at nighttime, you get the boat dock coming back in and you want to see what's going on in the back of the bed of the truck, you got that light right there and a third brake light right in the middle. Ford's done a good job to keep the plates lit up and two nice bulbs right there lighting this area. And if that wasn't enough, check this out. This also has a little light in here, a little LED to light up so you can see what's going on with the uh, backup camera. How about that? I mean, how often do you see a feature like that on a vehicle? Sweet, I like it a lot. Also, to let you know, you can't open up the tailgate if the vehicle's locked. 
So if you're at, the, if you get your truck sitting out there at the boat landing, and you're out on the boat and the truck's locked, they won't. Nobody will be able to open up that trunk. I mean, of course they could step up and kind of get back here. The truck's unlocked right now, so you can do that, and it drops down smoothly. Look at that. Those shocks did a good job. Once again, I'm going to show you all this feature. Push that. Pretty nice. Right there. Put your foot right there. You can take this pole and pull it out and grab a hold of it and get into the back of the truck. It's got grip tape on there, all that good stuff. Easy to move. And uh, you definitely feel safer getting in the back of the Ford F-150. If that wasn't enough lighting though, here's one here and one there, okay? So they're gonna keep lighting up this area. I'm sure that's really nice at nighttime. And again, when the time changes again, in September or October, whenever that happens, I will definitely be doing some dark night reviews on all the vehicles out here. But until that time, the store closes before it gets dark, so I can't do that. I'll be back in just a second, guys. Camera battery is pretty much dead, and uh, I don't want to quit recording on me while I'm filming. All right, here's a little shot from about, I don't know, maybe 100 yards away from the truck. Looking good over there. As you can see, even during the daytime, those lights really do stand out nicely. Wow, look how far we are. Shoom. Pretty sweet. Let's walk back over and take a look at her. Look at that, I'm in a different angle from farther back. And man, look at those lights. Wow, they are bright even during the daytime. Wow, wait. Look at that. Pretty sweet, huh? The bright lights are the bottom ones, and your regular headlights are the top. And now you tell me, are LED lights the new thing or what? That is sweet. Wow. All right, so uh, you got to see it. I got a new battery in the camera. Let's take a look at one more light setup on the outside of the truck, and then we'll hop in and kind of cruise it right on back up front. And uh, what I want to show you now is your puddle light under the mirror there. Again, a great feature for guys and girls, let me tell you. First off, for the ladies, you know, with this type of truck right here, there's nothing wrong with taking your lady out to dinner at Oak Steakhouse downtown in a beautiful F-150 King Ranch, right? And she's got those pretty heels on, and it just got done raining like we get in the south, right? So you're downtown, you park the truck, there's a, there's a puddle on the ground under her side over there, right? You open up the door, and look, you got puddle lights, and they're LED. They're going to shine right on the ground, right? They sure are. They're going to shine right all in this area here, and she's going to go, oh, don't let me get my pretty heels and feet all dirty. I got puddle lights. <laughs> right? Yeah, there you go. Or guys, you got your big Timberland boots on, and you don't want to be a sissy and step in a puddle. Well, you got the puddle lights right there. Other than that, um, you know, the puddle lights are nice at nighttime. Again, they lighten up the ground right around that area there. So there's a lot of nice things that can be done with a puddle light. Anyways, let me do something I haven't done before. And this is something I've talked about in the past. If you've watched some of the videos, we're going to pop the hood for just a second. There we go. You know, back in the day... I'm talking like in the maybe the early 90s, the 80s, the 70s, all back in that time frame. They used to put lights up under the hood, right? There used to be that little light bulb up under the hood. And uh, I still think manufacturers should do that. So I'm curious if the Ford's got it. Now where in the world is the uh, switch for this thing? Let me use my right hand. Have you ever thought about, man, could I cut my finger off? Yeah. Where is that button? I'm pulling and pulling and tugging. Here we go. We got it. All right, so as you can see, no light underneath. I knew there wasn't a light underneath here. But again, if anybody from the manufacturers ever watched my videos, could you please make a new light to go maybe just kind of hang or just be stuck an LED light right up under here to shine down on here? So at nighttime, uh, you know, if, if somebody's pulled over on the side of the road or whatever, you don't have to grab a flashlight. You can just use that light to be able to see in the engine. Why don't they have lights shining into the motor anymore? Does anyone know the answer to that? I do not know. 
Maybe because back in the day, older vehicles, people worked on vehicles more often themselves, and uh, it was nice to have a light up under there. Was it because vehicles broke down more often back in the day, and they wanted to have a light under there? What is the reason on why there's no light up under the hood of vehicles anymore? Let me know in the comments what's your thought about that. All right, real quickly, take a look in the back second row seats for lighting stuff. Not seeing a whole lot going on back here, but I do know right up top here, you have LED lights right there on driver and passenger side in the back, which is great. Just press the button, cuts them right on back off. Pretty simple. Um, other than that, uh, there's not any more lighting that I can see other than just little things that light up like over there, the heated seats. Uh, one feature I do like a whole lot on uh, Ford vehicles is this right here. Let me zoom in on it. Hopefully the camera will kind of get on that. Uh, if you can see that a little bit, 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet right there. Kind of like one of those outlets you have in your house. That's uh, very nice. Uh, Ford's been doing that a long time. And I've always said, man, that's great that they add that on. You got two USB ports right there as well. Heated seats, all that good stuff. But uh, I love that outlet there. I think my reasoning on why I like it is because you could actually plug in camera chargers and things like that. And uh, it's great even if you're, you know, you got a work truck, you can run a cord from there out the back window into the, into, uh, into the toolbox and maybe charge up your, uh, your drill or whatever you got, something like that. So that's a great feature to have. Let's go ahead and hop in. There's that coming down again for me. Very nice. Be nice if they kind of lit up the Ford Ranch logo there, King Ranch logo. But anyways, we can't have everything lit up that we want to have lit up. And I will tell you, it is really cold inside of this truck after uh, being outside in the hot heat. Ooh, it's cold in here. But this, man, this is really nice. What do y'all think? This is nice. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and pull it out of here. Put it in drive. And stay tuned to the channel, folks, if you're watching right now and you enjoy some of my uh, walk around reviews and different vlogs I'm doing. Um, please subscribe and let me know what you think again uh, doing this stuff full time now and I really enjoy it but I definitely need y'all's help so make sure to subscribe and comment and like and keep watching each day or each week for new videos on the channel ah, there we go trying to make the content a little more fun by adding in the vlogs and stuff like that you know on my normal routine of being in car stores every day um, I'm trying to come up with some ideas for fun videos, you know, maybe some challenges, things like that. If you have any, uh, any suggestions on a video challenge, let me know, uh, you know, some things that we could do or I could do with the car dealership guys and people that'd be a little more fun. Um, I mean, test drives, uh, challenges, I don't know, hot wing challenges, something I thought of having guys sit down and eat hot wings. I mean, what would y'all like to see on the channel? Um, I got to start doing some different stuff to be able to get more views and, and get out there a little bit more on YouTube with this stuff. So again, thanks for watching. Have a great day and send me your feedback. I appreciate it. I really do.